Ultra Reality Smash Bros is one of Mr. Beast's most requested projects for him to do. If you don't know what Ultra Reality Smash Bros is, it is essentially a virtual reality world that you can enter physically and transform into one of many Smash Bros characters. Think of it as if SAO became real and it was Smash Bros themed, minus the dystopian aspects of course. Ultra Reality Smash Bros Fighter number 108 is going to be the Prince from Katamari Damacy. I received this character request from a viewer who asked to not be named. As such, I bought a copy of Beautiful Katamari on the Xbox 360 just to research this character. What I discovered is that his game is fun, weird, and difficult at the same time. I will go into all that and a whole lot more. So if you're ready, I'm ready, let's get into it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy. Let's start by talking about the Prince in his original game before we get into the Smash related stuff. The Prince from Katamari Damacy is the protagonist and son of the King and Queen of the Princedom, and has hundreds of cousins. His series revolves around rolling an obscurely shaped ball known as the Katamari and have objects stick to it. The game sounds simple in premise, but each level you must gather a certain amount of objects to the Katamari to the point where the width of the Katamari is a certain length. Fall below that length and the game will shame you. The game is known to insult the player even if you beat a stage, though the insults for winning are more humorous than shameful. The series is owned by Bandai Namco and appears in Pac-Man's Namco Roulette Taunt. What's more, YouTuber Jacksepticeye has stated that he grew up with the Katamari series and would love to see the Prince in a Smash game. With that being said, let's get into the Smash related stuff. Like I said, the game I used to research for adding Prince to UR is Beautiful Katamari on the Xbox 360. That game actually has a location that would work as a really good casual stage called Ye Old Candy Shop. Given the game's bizarre nature, there is a lot of eccentric objects strewn around the store. Rolls of tape, sentient toy trains, and even anime girl posters. In terms of size, it would be massive like Palutena's Temple, which also means a lot of stage hazards that revolve around the objects you see in the candy shop in the Xbox 360 original. Moveset-wise, Prince would have the Katamari as his gimmick, every move revolving around it in some way. Sakurai took characters you thought would never work in Smash and make them work anyway. Because of this, there must be a possibility for getting the Katamari gimmick to work in UR Smash Bros. We can talk all day about how to make this character work, how to make that character work. A problem I have run into, however, is I am starting to realize why Sakurai denied most of Nintendo's suggestions in terms of Smash Ultimate's DLC. The reason being, making these character prediction videos has been a lot of work so far, and putting the character in UR will be even more work. What I was thinking to not overwork myself is to have a slim marginal of characters I predict make their way into UR, those being the characters I believe people will like the most. The way I have been judging which characters people want more than others is through the UR Remix playlist. It is an indirect way of seeing which characters people want, but I noticed that the more popular songs tend to, tend to get more views, meaning the character and their game must be more popular as well. If there is a song on the UR Remix playlist from a game you really like, please listen to it as much as you can, so that way when UR is confirmed, me and the boys can have a good idea of what characters people want to see the most, judging by their game's music. It is not effective as a fighter ballot. The problem with having a UR fighter ballot, though, is I fear I may be unsatisfied with the final result, given experiences I have had with other people. That being said, the UR Remix playlist will take priority. As for the 108th YouTuber to get their own team, I was thinking it could be Call Me Kevin, RT Games' longtime rival in the Irish YouTube scene. I named his team the Mirrored Motivation, which is a reference to when he stood in front of the mirror, motivating himself to best RT in the rivalry, ultimately failing to do so in the eyes of the right people. Be sure to reference my older Ultra Reality Smash Bros videos to get up to speed on what YouTubers have teams in UR so far, specifically my Azucena video. I want to add more Namco characters. It seems like a company with a very interesting history and a great relationship with Nintendo. I would like to see what other Namco characters you guys request, and we will see in UR's final product who ends up making the cut. And there you go, that is why Prince from Katamari Damacy should join the Mr. Beast 
Ultra Reality, Smash Bros. Server. Let me know in the comments if there are any other characters you want me to make a video on as to why they should join Mr. Beast's Ultra Reality Smash Bros. Server. But anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Look forward to more Mr. Beast Ultra Reality Smash Bros. videos in the future. And as always, stay chill, everyone.